Hello everybody, and welcome back on Hof Bergman. The day has finally arrived where Helen and the young man has been untied from all the tedious paperwork um, back on Ballincraig Estate. They have been able to buy a pickup truck and a box trailer to bring um, what little belongings they have on and they have taken the ferry and we are now getting close to the farm. Um, it took a while for them to sort out. When the young man sold Valley Craig Estate to Trevor, his good friend, uh, back in the previous roleplay series here on Overcourt Gaming, he, um, he thought that was it everything was sorted but it turns out there's quite a bit more paperwork than that to do with it. You need to turn left, says Helen. Oh yeah that's right, says the young man. I, it's just because we're coming from a, a different direction this time obviously since they had to take the ferry. Um, they didn't come the same direction as, as before when they were in a rental car but now they have reached some familiar territory and uh, they are arriving, pulling into the farmyard here. As they pull in, they can immediately see a bit of life in the farmyard, there's chickens wandering about, but apart from that, there doesn't seem to be any people around. Huh, says the young man looking over at him. I thought maybe Hans would be about. Well, maybe he's out working, says Helen. Let's get out and see what we can do. The young man steps out. He looks at the boxes while Helen is admiring a couple of the chickens. Um, I guess, should we try and get stuff into the house first, he says. We don't have that much since there's furniture in the house already. I don't know, says Helen. I, I think I'm going to go over and check and see if Lydia's in the store. Um, but you can go into the house. So the young man uh, takes a step and, uh, well, it does seem quiet around here, he thinks to himself. Steps inside. Hello? Anybody here? No. It's all quiet. Helen admires the poultry wandering around. Oh, this already feels good, she smiles to herself. I think I better go and see if Lydia is here. Um, she might know where Hans is. So, stepping in. Ah, Lydia! Smiles Helen. Lydia smiles and says hello. Do you know where Hans is? Yes, he's out seeding on the fields, says Lydia. Okay, how is everything with the shop? Yeah, it's good. Um, there are some breads uh, in the oven. They have been selling really well. People are very happy about the fact that we're starting to produce things on the farm again, Lydia says. Helen smiles. I'm really pleased to hear that. That's really what I want to do more of as well. But I better go and see um, the young man. He's just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, see you later, says Lydia. Helen feels really relaxed that Lydia is here to look after the shop. She was a bit worried that she was kind of going to get pushed into that job and um, she she does want to help out on the farm, it's not that, but she also wants a bit of time um, to be able to do her art and, and such like, so she steps in and sees the young man standing looking a little puzzled. Are you okay? she says. Yes, says the young man. Uh, it's just all so new and, and quite overwhelming right now and we're so late. I, I, I feel frustrated, he says. But why don't you head out and um, Lydia says that Hans is out seeding uh, up on one of the fields. Why, why don't you find a way? Just walk up or something. See if you can find him. Yeah, says the young man. I think I'm going to do that, but we need to get boxes sorted out and stuff like that. Okay, look. Ah, I'll start on the boxes, says Helen, and uh, you, you go and find Hans, and then we'll figure out what's going on all together. The young man smiles at Helen. You know what, 
I really am glad you can be the voice of reason sometimes, he says, as he heads out. He kind of knows that he can tend to get a little bit flustered now and then, but Helen already seems to have thought ahead and kept a calm mind about things. He's looking around. They, they did ha come and visit and have a tour on the farm and stuff like that, but it's always a bit different when, when you arrive knowing that you're, you're going to be here at least for the next couple of years and uh, try and figure out what's going on. So he knows, he remembers from before that most of the fields are down this way here, but he's not quite sure. Hans did phone a couple of days ago and said, that he's been working really hard on the seeding, seeding for the last couple of weeks. So, the young man looks down and, oh yeah, this is all done. He smiles to himself. And over here, well, where is he then? Oh wait, there's another field up the back of here. Hans is just backing up to do the next row when he notices somebody standing. Oh, oh, they're here. He smiles. Oh, that's brilliant! And he hops out. The young man walks over, smiling at Hans. Hans! It's so good to finally see you again, he says. Oh man, you have been working crazily hard. Uh, well, yes, says Hans. It, it has been quite hard going, but uh, we still have a lot of fertilizing to do, he says. I did buy in some bags, but I'm a little behind. Uh, I've done the first field, but... Um, there's still a lot to do, but I thought it would be more important to get the seed in the ground before we, we miss germination. No, says the young man, that makes total sense. What what can I do? And Hans looks a little flustered. Well, uh, I mean, uh, it, you're the boss, says Hans, but okay, I understand you've just arrived. Uh, do you not need some time to unpack? Well, says the young man, looking back at the farmer, yeah, well, I can do that tonight. That that would be okay. It's, tell me what we need doing. I'm, I'm I'm itching to get into the fields and and, and get on with it. Well, okay, says Hans. But um, so the keys on the hook just inside the house uh, for the tractors. Um, I have the tractor with the fertilizer spreader uh, just over behind the horse stable. Uh, if if you want to get started on on spreading some fertilizer, I think we should have enough to to do the next field or two. We might need to buy some more. I'm running on very last seed here. I'm kind of hoping I can finish up this field, but if if I can't, I'm afraid we might have to buy in some more. No, that's okay, says the young man. That's okay. Listen, Hans, I, I will leave you to, to get on with this. You're doing such a fantastic job. I can't thank you enough for all the extra time that you've been putting in while we've been delayed. So I'll head over and find the tractor. So Hans takes off, and um, the young man smiles to himself. Ah, oh, this this is this is a big farm compared to Ballincraig in many ways. So, well, there's not as much grass perhaps, but there's certainly more fields and more machinery to be getting on with. He can't help but just admire the big fent tractor and uh, the much newer looking cedar here. Uh, on Hof Bergman, but he has to pull himself away and go, right, okay, uh, right, fertilizing, uh, it's already late afternoon, they did have a long day, they, um, they took the ferry over, they arrived quite early in the morning, and then they um, drove up to Hof Bergman, so um, he, is, he is a little bit tired, but at the same time, he just, he can't wait to get started on things. Maybe I'll start with the field over here, he thinks. That's relatively close to the farm. And if I can if I can finish that off today, that will at least be a good start. He smiles to himself. Oh man. So much to do. So many options. Meantime Helen is standing looking a little bit around. Like, hmm. I guess I might get started with shifting some of these boxes. To be fair, most of it is my art supplies. She smiles to herself. I'm going to put them over in the uh, old horse stable. We're not going to be using it for horses, and I've been thinking that that's where I actually want to set up a bit of a studio. 
Helen's thinking about um, just setting up a sort of small side business of doing paintings from the local area and um, given that they're not really doing uh, horses here on the farm anytime soon at least she thought that um, this would actually make a pretty good little studio space it's not going to be super warm or anything like that but she can get herself a little electric heater or something like that and uh, usually when she's working she, she doesn't really notice so she's going to start there's some furniture and some belongings for the house in in the box trailer but all of these boxes are basically helen's art supplies that needs to be brought over to that building so uh, she's gonna crack on with that the young man's coming back towards the house and he notices the tailgate is down oh <laughs> he grins to himself helen must be setting up studio already he smiles to himself that's good i really don't want her to feel like i'm, I'm leaving her with with all of the sort of moving in work. Ah, oh, here we are. Here are the keys. Perhaps the keys for the tractor. So it should be over on the other side of the horse stable, he says. I might see her. I think she was talking about using the old horse stable. The young man sees Helen opening the um, horse stable door. How's it looking in there, he says. I see you already got some supplies in. Yeah, she says. It's it's pretty good. Once Once I get a few things set up, this, this is going to make a nice studio. Well, I'm really glad, the young man says and waves the key. Look, I've got the keys for the first tractor. I'm going to head out and try and see if I can get the first field fertilized. But I promise, after dinner, I'll be back and we'll get furniture moved in. That's fine, smiles Helen. I'll, I'll be setting up some of this stuff in the meantime. No, that's fine. Ah, here we are, smiles the young man. Oh, Hans has actually been really busy he realizes that's one bag of fertilizer or some of a bag of fertilizer left but i'll have to have a quick look inside at this one getting the engine started and lowering the fertilizer so you can take a look in you can see that ah uh, okay that's quite a bit in there but actually i should probably just see how much more i can fit in he says to himself taking the ratchet straps off and you can see that there is a back lift in the Kramer here as well. So, um, we'll try and get that loaded in. And then get the first field underway while Hans is finishing off seeding on the last field. The young man is hugely relieved that Hans seems to have been coping okay with getting the seeding done. Because otherwise they would be so far behind that um, they would have been very limited on their choices of of, of crops and everything on the farm things that wouldn't really fit in necessarily with um, what they would want to do so um, it has been a massive help that Hans has been able to run things for the first couple of months but now the young man and Helen are back or here they're not back they're here uh, for the first time and um, things can kind of get accelerated a little bit the young man thinks it must have been quite tough for Hans first of all having two bosses um, not just uh, uh, himself and Helen but also of course Dr. Bergman who basically is a 50-50 investor in the, in the farm but the reality is that he still owns the buildings and he still owns the land so in some ways the young man does still feel a little bit funny that he, he knows that okay they're meant to be partners but the reality is that Dr. Bergman still owns the farm and from that perspective he will get final say if there's something they probably don't agree on but hopefully that's not going to be an issue he thinks to himself I think Dr. Bergman wanted somebody in to run the farm because he doesn't really deal with farming and that's why I'm here that's why we're here young man says to himself so in the ideal world they would have put the pellets down uh, before the seeding but as Hans so correctly pointed out um, there was a need to get started on the seeding in case they fell behind or in case there were bad weather so now it's a matter of getting this fertilizer on relatively quick before germination really kicks in sometimes 
um, concentrations of fertilizer directly onto fragile little seedlings can be an issue. So it's better to get it done now while the seeds are in the ground, but still not kind of popping through. young man is working away at fertilizing, Hans wraps up the canola seeding in the last field. There was perilously little seed left um, in the seeder as he was finishing up, but at least there was enough. And um, he's kind of pleased because it means that his original estimates of how much seed to buy in worked out okay. He would have been a bit embarrassed if he'd had to go down to the shop and buy in more seed um, at this stage. As Hans is heading down towards the farm, he can see the young man has pretty much covered the first field already with fertilizer, which is brilliant. Um, he would have liked to have completed everything by the time that the young couple arrived, so that it would have been a perhaps slightly more relaxing, less stressful uh, arrival, but many thoughts are still running through Hans as said there are so many things to still be getting on with here on the farm um, there's the logging work he needs to speak to Johan because he um, he needs to get those um, those logs dragged down to him so they can borrow the wood chipper for a couple of days but he needs to check with the young man um, he does have a friend down in the village who can help uh, with cutting down trees obviously he will need some payment but um Overall, it might still be um, be worth it. Hans finally gets an opportunity to give all of this a wash. It's 10 to 4, so it's not too bad, actually. He's managed to finish this field today, and he can finally get to cleaning this up. He's been feeling a bit bad about how dirty the uh, fence tractor was and everything like that, but on the other hand, he does feel a sigh of relief that he knows that all the seed are in the ground now. It won't be long till it's time to move over to grass cutting, and perhaps doing some silage. But he also thinks that now that the young man and Helen are here, it's going to make things a little bit easier because these kind of cross telephone conversations between Dr. Bergman and himself, and then double checking with the young man and Helen, or the other way around sometimes. Um, it wasn't exactly easy uh, for Hans, so he feels tremendously relieved that they are here now, and uh, it's going to make life a lot, lot easier. It hasn't taken the young man long at all to wrap up the first field, and there's still plenty of fertilizer in the tank. Um, in fact, it took him a little bit less than an hour. There's a really good spread on this one, so. He can't help but think that maybe he should just knock out the next one as well. Um, but he's just going to swing by the farmyard to let Hans and Helen know what's going on. Oh, Hans is here. He's just finished cleaning up the tractor. Young man smiles. 
Is everything okay? says Hans. He looks a little bit worried. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, Hans. I've already finished. He smiles. Listen, I'm I'm gonna knock out the next field as well. It's only four o'clock, but I mean, you have been working so hard over the last couple of days that, you know what? I, I think you should take the rest of today off. Uh, are you sure? says Hans. I mean, uh, I know I put in a few extra hours and things, but, but I I still want to work my house. No, says the young man. Seriously, you, you, you've earned some time off. Uh, I really believe that. Um, listen, if you don't mind telling Helen on the way out that I'm, I'm going to head back out and, and get the next field done and then I'll come back before dinner and uh, help sort out the furniture stuff. Uh, of course, says Hans. Uh, thank you. So the young man is straight back into the vent tractor here. He's feeling excited. These machines are really a lot bigger than what he used to drive on Bowling Creek Estate. He did help out uh, on a neighboring farm a couple of times um, at a couple of friends called Henry and Thomas and um, that was great. Uh, he got to drive some even newer machinery than this there but this is different. It's, it's not quite his but it's pretty close to being his own so he's really getting that sensation of running the farm and, and having access to the machinery and everything like that. And first day arrival and he's straight out into the field. Oh, it couldn't be any better. Hans smiles to himself as the young man is heading off excitedly. Well, <laughs> well time off, Hans says to himself, but oh, I'm, I'm still going to put things away though before, before I clock out for the day. Oh, uh, I better let Helen know, he thinks to himself. Well, i got to drop the seat off over in the other yard anyway, so that should not be a problem. I'll see if she's around. Helen's just finished uh, bringing boxes in as she hears another tractor come into the yard. Oh, that must be Hans, she says. i better go and say hello. Hans! Helen smiles. Oh, hello, Helen, says Hans. Um, it, it's good to see you on the farm, he smiles. Um, the young man asked me to tell you that he's he's gone out to fertilize the second field. Uh, he seems very keen and, um, well, he, he made really good progress on the first one. That's fine, says Helen. <laughs> I know what he's like. Oh, and, and, well, he told me to take the rest of the afternoon off. Well, I couldn't agree more, says Helen. You've been working so hard while we haven't been able to get here, so you definitely should take some time off. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna up the young man by one. I think you should take tomorrow off as well. <coughs> but, uh, no, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but I, I kind of need the pay. Helen smiles. Oh no, you have worked more than enough hours in our absence to make up for that. Consider tomorrow a um, paid holiday. Uh, well, I, I don't know what to say, says Hans, but thank you. But I, I'll put the cedar away and everything like that. And um, I'll, I'll just speak to Lydia. She has her bike, but, um, well, I brought the gator back up. And, and uh, so I'm, I'm walking home tonight. Nonsense, says Hans. I'll drive you down. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'll know. It won't be long and, and I'll be ready, if that's okay with you. Of course, smiles Helen. I'll let Lydia know. So Hans climbs back in the tractor and uh, he's got to take the cedar back over. He usually put it um, in a little shed across the road here. Oh, he's got a day off. That's pretty good. He feels a little bit funny about it because there's so many things that still needs to be done on the farm. But at the same time, it just feels nice that there's somebody else here and um, and they seem to be recognizing that there has been quite a lot of hard work going on here on the farm uh, while they were dealing with paperwork. So Hans just gonna climb out and get the hoses and uh, uh, electronics disconnected so that everything is well pretty much set for next year get everything folded up nice 
Helen knocks on the door and steps into the gym. Lydia, I'm just going to take um, take Hans down. Uh, listen, I, I realize it must have been a bit of a strain because we haven't been here and he's had to work such long hours. So we, we were talking about um, why don't you both take the day off tomorrow and, and the young man and I can can sort of sort things out, I'm sure. Lydia smiles like, no, it's okay. I'll come in for a couple of hours and show you. Are you sure, said Han? I mean, it would be great if you could, but we kind of want you to have the day off. Well, why don't I show you now then, says Lydia. Okay, says Helen. That sounds like a plan. Okay, show me. Ah, that's everything unhooked and sorted. Tractor's looking good and clean. Hans feels a little bit pleased with that. Oh, this, oh, he forgot. He, he has to leave a note for the young man because the dealership did get back to him about how much it would cost for like a log winch so they can get those logs dragged down um, to Johan. And say, like, oh, but I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. Well, I suppose it is only one day and, and we, we still have a little bit of time to, to get everything done. But I better get parked up here. He is feeling tired. Like the last week has been pretty non-stop grind. Uh, seeding, loading with seed, fertilizing, trying to stay on top of everything. Uh, feeding the goats and the chickens and such like. Um, Lydia has been working really hard on trying to stay on top of baking bread, which has become really, really popular. With the villagers so um so he's really pleased so i uh, okay helen must be over in the shop but i'm gonna write a note for the young man and um put on the table just so he knows what the costs are and then he can decide after writing the note hans heads over to the shop um he feels a little bit like embarrassed almost that uh, helen's gonna be taking him down oh hello he says hi they both say, "Are you ready?" says Helen. Uh, yes, I've I've left a note uh, for you both on on the table. Uh, it's it's about a logging winch, um, because we gotta get some logs delivered down to Johan, um, and then he's gonna lend us his wood chipper so we can get started on that. Helen smiles. That's fine, but I'm I'm sure it's it can wait for a day or two. It's not a big issue. Um. Lydia, are you, are you okay cycling home? Of course I am, darling. Get going. Okay. Uh, I'll just grab the keys, says Helen. Helen gets the um, truck started. It's it's kind of a new truck for us. We, we're more used to the steering wheel being over where you sit. She smiles, but um, just uh, just shout if I drive on the wrong side of the road. She smiles. Uh, oh, oh, oh I, I will, says Hans, but... I'm, I'm sure you'll get used to it in no time. Helen smiles. I really do appreciate all the work that you've been putting in uh, over the period while we haven't been here, she says. Have you spoken much to Dr. Bergman? Well, he, he was very keen on uh, getting the wood chipping uh, back up and running. And, and I, I have to admit, there's one other thing that I haven't had a chance to look at. He mentioned that um, there was a lease on a fruit orchard uh, down by the southern village um, that has come back to the farm. Apparently we used to lease this out. I didn't even know it belonged to the farm. But um, he, he says that uh, I need to go down and check at that at some point. Yeah, that's, the sound. that's fine. You know what? I can do that for you if you want tomorrow. Um, sure, says Hans. Um, well, I mean, then I'll be up the day after tomorrow. Okay, says Helen. Uh, where is it you live? Oh, down on the left a bit, almost to the end of the village, says Hans. As they drive through, Helen takes a bit of time to take in the scenery. Oh, is that like a cafe or something? Yes, says Hans. It's quite nice, especially on a, during the summer when it gets a little warmer, he smiles. Yes, it is still a bit chilly. 
Well, that's me here, says Hans. If you just turn in, I'm in the house. Immediately here on the right, uh, there's my little uh, moped. Well, thank you so much, Hans. Um, I hope you and Lydia enjoy a day off tomorrow. Uh, get an opportunity to do something else and enjoy. But Lydia's off tomorrow as well, says Hans. Yes, I give her the day off, says Ellen. Well, I can't thank you enough, says Hans. Thank you. It's been a long time since we've had any time off together. Hans smiles and waves at Helen as he steps out of the car. Ah, definitely a sense of calm and peace setting over him as he unlocks the door and heads in. As Helen turns and uh, smiles, seeing the door close behind Hans, thinks, oh, actually we never stopped at a grocery market. There must be a store here in town where I can, uh, where I can get something. I wonder where it is. She looks around. That's the fire station. Oh, it's a beautiful place, she smiles to herself. Well, we could always come down and have dinner at the cafe, she thinks to herself. That might be nice. We might actually get to meet a few people. Yes, I think that would be a good plan. Oh, oh, she spots the little village shop. But I will pick up uh, just some milk and, and some cereals or something like that. So we have something for breakfast as well. She smiles to herself. It's getting up to 5.30 as, as the young man finishes off the field. Ah, but that's good, he says. That means we only got one field left to do. The one that Hans finished seeding today. So I'm not too worried about waiting until tomorrow to to get the fertilizer onto that. Uh, I, I need to sit down with Hans uh, in a day or two and, and really sort of work out a plan about things, he says to himself. But today was good. Uh, I think I think we'll really get started on something good here. I, I do need to give uh, Dr. Bergman a call as well. Just going to park up in here for, for today because I'll be straight out again in the morning, I reckon. Um, so I can get that last field finished off smiles to himself. Yeah, man looks around. Oh, the truck's gone. Huh. Well, the box trailer's still here. He sighs a bit. Well, I suppose I better get started with carrying some of this stuff in. to the shop, says the young man. Yeah, just to pick up a few things, but listen, I'm taking you out for dinner tonight. The young man grins. Oh, I see. Uh, are there a lot of restaurants around here? Well, there is one, says Miles. That's where we're going. It's a little bit later that they finish off unloading the contents of the box trailer. Um, Helen's driving. She knows where the cafe is. The young man looking forward. It'll be nice to sit down, have somebody else cook for you today after a very very busy day, although most of it was really driving to get here. Oh, there's so much to do, he says. I know, says Helen, but it'll be good. Tomorrow I'll head down and check out the orchard. Orchard? says the young man. What do you mean orchard? There's a couple of fruit trees over here and that's about it. Apparently there's more, says Ellen. Um, an old lease has come back to the farm. Seriously. Oh, that's what Hans was talking about. I thought he just meant the ones up here by close to the farm. No, there's more, says Ellen. Well, Hans left a note, says the young man. I had a look at it. Um, I'm going to get down and, and kind of introduce myself to the dealership. And I'm going to get that logging winch picked up. And... Um, when Hans comes back, I think I'm going to wait till he's back before we uh, we do the um, 
work on on the timber because he he seems to know Johan, so it would be good to have a friendly face there. Hmm, I agree, says Han. I also need to check on the goats, she smiles. Yes, says the young man, and I need to check over the state of the machinery, run over the logbooks and stuff, just to get familiar with things. Yes, says Han. So much to do, but look, here we are, she says, right here. Oh, it looks busy, said the young man. Oh, I'm sure we can squeeze in right here, says Alan. And right enough, the young man and Helen has arrived. What do you fancy, says the young man. I don't know yet, says Alan, but let's go and take a seat and enjoy a nice meal. Helen and the young man sit and chat and enjoy even though it's not that warm they sit outside they have a nice hearty meal they get to know the proprietor of the cafe quite well tells them a bit of gossip about various people in the town and generally makes them feel very welcome here in the village so with a nice meal after an incredibly busy day driving, taking over a little bit, um, trying to figure out, get their bearings and what's going on. The young couple have finally arrived on Hof Bergman and will be working together with Hans and of course also Dr. Bergman to try and revive the farm back to its past glory. So in some ways it almost feels like we're just getting started on the series, although we have been following Hans in uh, some of the hard work that he's been putting in over the last couple of months. But this is it for today's episode, as we take a little bit of a view up over a peaceful village, as night is settling in here on Hof Bergman. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon here on Overcourt Gaming.